Today, Android 8.6 release 8.1, the release candidate 2 has come out for the PC and this is going to how to install it. So this version is based on the Android Oreo. First scroll down to the page where you want to get the virtual box. Um, so clicking on that will take you to the website. Click on the Windows link there, it will automatically download. Once you've got that, double click that and install. Click next to next, install. Now Windows will come up with a very an option wanting you to you know to allow it to make changes. So choose yes. You may also get notifications from any via virus or firewall software like uh, Windows 10 def defense so allow the firewall access uh, finish so now we need to create the actual virtual machine I'm going to call it Android Eight. Then we're going to choose Linux and Ubuntu 64. Next, memory. Um, I'm going to go for three, three gigabyte, uh, three megabytes. Create a virtual hard disk. Yes. Virtual disk image. Dynamic because it adjust. And then up to ten gigs. So yes. We click start. And under devices, choose disk image, ISO, select the Android 8.1, reset it, and that boots up from this is the ISO. You can put this on a CD-ROM or USB stick. I'll probably do a video for that afterwards. So we run the Android there or install. So we want to install it. You have to create a modifier of partitions here. Create a new partition from free space, primary, all the space. So now we write the MY for yes, where you actually type yes, press the return. It's now right in the partition table. And then quit. And then you've now got on here your partition. The SDA one. So we click OK to install there. And then we want to form that to the ext4 to choose yes yes to boot grub yes to that Okay, it's installed now. We should better run it. So far, so good. 
So like any Android operating system on your phone, you're going to have to log in with Google. And then once you've done that, you can start to install the apps. And if you've got a touch screen, uh, then you can use it like you would a tablet. You can install this fully onto a PC, but you will need to um, use a USB stick. Um, and there, I'll try and add the instructions on the web page on how to make a bootable USB stick for this Android, uh, which you can either run from a USB stick or you can install permanently on a partition, a real partition. This is in a virtual box. And VirtualBox has different settings here, uh, which is all pretty good. It's quite a safer environment. Okay, it's booted up here. It's in the United States. Click start. So if you've got a cloud, you've got some information out there, that's pretty good. But obviously it's going to be new for me, maybe for most of you. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to kind of basically want you to log in with your Google account. Sorry about the fan noise. This is my main computer. You know, it does seem to fan up a bit. don't know if I can close a few things or not. So there we go. So you're basically signing with your Google, etc. I'm going to skip this for now. Skip. Double verification there. Do I really want to skip? Okay, that all looks pretty good. The time is spot on already. Name. Install update apps. Okay, must be just an option. And then we click more. I can get to that. There we go. And I agree. Go back. Done. So we've got two different launches. We've got a launcher and we've got a taskbar. So it's trying to open up here something. And there we go. Popping about, we've got the Google search. Need to get his mouse integrated properly. Uh, can't seem to move it now. I had to get out, you know, to kick the host machine. Right, so now the mouse is working. I want the about. Uh, what's this? Um, this is what I want the settings. So it's virtual box and it's at 8.1. So there you go. I've changed the backdrop. As you can see, I've got the browser up. Well, I just typed in the Google bar at the top and it's, uh, it's, it's doing it fine. I just wanted to, to, to kind of steal an image. See if I could hit my. So it's already connecting down my, my network, which is great. And then we have the latest data calling in the Android there, which I'll be updating afterwards. I, th I forget always what the option is to get out of this, uh, to get my mouse out of the window. But I've noticed if I press the right control and R, it wants to reset it. And as long as I don't click anything, it won't. I press cancel and I can get my mouse out. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.